Hi everyone. In this video, we will discuss how we can install the EG agent on AIX operating system. Before we start the installation, we need to gather two required basic information. First, we need to know the EG manager IP or the host name and the port number for communication. I'm going to use EG on tap EG innovations.com and the port number is 80 for this installation. We also have to make sure that we are able to communicate with the EG manager. So I will try connecting with the EG manager. Here I am going to use the command telnet to make sure that we are able to communicate with the EG manager. So telnet EG on tap EG innovations.com and the port number is 80. And this shows that we are able to communicate with the EG manager. EG uses HTTP or HTTPS for communication. If SSL is used for EG manager, make sure to use the SSL for the EG agent installation. The next one is proxy server information. As I mentioned earlier, EG uses HTTP or HTTPS for communication. In some infrastructure, proxy servers are used for communication. As shown in the below example picture, the server in the location A communicates with EG manager directly. But in the location B, the server uses proxy for secure communication. In that case, we need the proxy server IP address and the port number for EG manager and agent communication. If the authentication is involved for the proxy, then we need the username and the password also. Since we have all the information ready, now let's start the EG agent installation on the AIX. I have the EG agent executables downloaded in my local system. Now we have to move the executables to the AIX system. Before you copy the file from the local system to the AIX machine, you have to change the transfer settings to binary from default. Now I'm going to copy the files to the op directory temp eg. The executables files have been copied to the AX server. Now we can start the EG installation. Here I use party session to install the EG agent on AIX and I have logged in as a root user. Now we have to go to the directory where we have the EG agent executables that is under opt temp eg. Let's make sure we have the files available. So here we have the eg agent underscore aix dot tar dot gz and i agent underscore aix. Now we have to provide the write privilege for the i agent underscore aix. So I'm going to use the command change mode. Now I have provided the right privilege for the AIX agent. Now we can start the agent installation. So here you have to provide the username for the EG agent installation. Here I'm going to give EG agent. The installation directory is going to be opt, so I'm going to press enter. So here you have to provide the EG agent needs to be auto restart on system boot up. I'm going to say no to that. EG agent have successfully installed. Now we have to set up the EG agent. Before we run the setup, we have to log in as a EG installed user that is EG agent.
Now we can run the setup. You have to provide yes to the licensing tab. Now here you have to provide the IP or the host name of the EG manager. So here I'm going to type in EG on tap dot EG innovations dot com. The port number is going to be eight zero. Since there is no proxy server involved in the communication, I'm going to say no. There is no SSL involved in the EG manager, so I'm going to say no to that. Here you have to provide yes or no option to the EG agent nickname. Agent nickname is an alternate identifier for the EG agent. Normally during communication, EG manager identify the EG agent with an IP address. In some environment where the dynamic IP system is prevalent, in such scenario you can assign a unique nickname for the EG agent so the EG manager will identify the EG agent with a nickname irrespective of the IP address. Here we have the static IP system prevalent so I'm going to say no to the nicknames. These are additional features available for the different application monitoring. Here it is not required so I'm going to say no to that. Now the setup has been completed. Now we have to start the agent using the command start underscore agent. Now the EG agent have started successfully. These are the steps that you have to follow to install the EG agent on AIX. Thank you for your time. You have a great day.